Johnny, welcome back. It's good to be, but we should probably switch chairs oh, here. Everybody thinks. You're still looking <laughs> so better than me. They, well, they probably see the videos and they go, oh, I've already seen that one. He's wearing that same shirt. Yeah, maybe so we, we, gotta should, we should put them put, put in order. Yeah, we should put like something funny in here. Maybe we'll Yeah, this is, uh, this is video number three with me in this shirt. So yeah. if, you, if you scroll to it, you're like, you, have, you haven't seen this one yet. So. Yeah. Sometimes we'll film a few videos in advance right. just to accommodate both of our schedules. And right, we appreciate all of you watching each one of them, even though it looks like we haven't showered in, in well, I guess it'd be a week uh, now. That be, you know, <laughs> that's not far from the truth. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so Johnny, I, yeah. I've been asking people just if they have questions, if there's a curiosity, and there's there's quite a few folks watching. and Which is good. Yeah, it's, it's great. People are watching and you're definitely, I think, you're grabbing people's attention and a couple questions that came across that I thought would be beneficial for not just folks who are going through ALS and and people who are immediately affected by ALS but, but, but people in general just to understand you know what exactly ALS is and that's really our yeah. mission statement here is to share the day-to-day -day journey of what it what it means to have and what it's like to have uh, a disease similar to this or of this so so I appreciate questions a lot of people they don't know what to say or do or and so sometimes they kind of stumble over but I'm I'm one of those guys I mean just blurt it right out I mean ask me anything so yeah. fi and, fire and away you all haven't noticed John likes to talk <laughs> so this is the know. one person you could ask a question <laughs> to and you'll probably get more than the answer I think you they, I think they know that already <laughs> Jesse what's the question okay. <laughs> given given the physical limitations now yeah is it do you find it how much more time in advance do you have to plan if any to do day-to-day -day things going out to dinner hanging out with friends yeah that, that's a, those are good questions uh, or a good question rather um, and I'll answer this way um, I have to look forward to uh, my day-to-day -day chores. I mean, even graphically as it may be, if I go out, I have to be prepared. All right, am I going to be with someone? What happens if I have to go to the bathroom? And so the spontaneity of life is, is quickly slipping away. Uh, if I travel, like I've been traveling lately on an airplane, Traveling alone on an airplane probably is a very dangerous, an accident could happen. And what I mean by accident is I can't get up out of the chair and if I have to use the restroom, et cetera, et cetera, it's just uh, lifting for my passport or lifting to get out of a bag. So I have to plan far in advance and even the spontaneity of me wanting to go to dinner it's not my just say hey take a quick shower put some clothes on put some boots on jump in the truck and drive over there it's like showering dressing that's about an hour and drying off too I and then drying yeah. off is a pain in the neck brushing my teeth shaving uh, i've got to think that through and then i use a lift cab or uber cab you know wait for them so the spontaneity and which probably was the art form of my life if something looked good then man that looked good let's go do that that's those that ship has sailed those days are over so i have to be very careful and and there's an old cowboy saying out there too is you know my my uh my mind makes promises that my body can't fill i'll go sure i'll go to dinner and i'll order something i'm like oh i didn't think that one through like how are you going to cut that steak yeah. Well, invariably, somebody next to me is going to have to cut the steak. Well, now, okay, now that they cut it for you, how are you going to get it in your face? Uh, I think somebody's going to have to feed it to me. And, and so it's that downhill, you know, it just goes, stuff rolls downhill. So the analogy is taking a, gr a grand volume and trying to fit it into a small amount of space. Yes, and, with, and the question was, with that small amount of space that small amount of time not being a positive out and positive outcome a positive yeah how do you remain no, I, positive I in the present i understand i understand the question um first off i'm human and i and i've talked about this before on our video logs i have my pity parties um this whole deal is very frustrating i've talked about everything from poor body image issues which is the biggest uh, mental tag is looking at my body shriveled literally shriveling away um, how do I stay positive um, so I surround myself with people that I trust 
and I surround myself with people who have great sense of humor and um, me being a chatty Cathy and I know that's news to everybody <laughs> I engage and I have eye contact with just about anybody I can and I draw them into my world like a cat would or a puppy like play with me you can't get away from me you have to you have to give me my five minutes of fame and so how do I stay positive but my core personality is always laughter has always been let's go on an adventure has always been let's get busy so by the grace of God go I and it's just the way that I'm wired I I don't I don't want to be that guy I don't want to be that guy crying in my soup I still have fantasies of being normal again that's what gets me through I have fantasies of being normal again am I waiting or hoping for a miracle for me I don't hope I don't pray for miracles I pray for I pray I pray for power of spirit and forgiveness I pray for other people's safety I pray for me that I become the man that you that I've always wanted to be and that keeps me going I pray to be the man that I've always dreamed of being and that man would never fall and become someone lesser than uh, than the than the than the man that my mother raised the man that I wanted to be and the man my mother raised so but, uh, the vision of who I am and who my family my family name the man that my mother raised uh, that keeps me going and staying positive you know and, I, and that's I appreciate you sharing that John because I think that's something anybody can take away too is, it, is what, the vision they hold of themselves in their head if you don't like how you're feeling you don't like your attitude you don't like your day-to-day -day energy change the picture of yourself in your head huge and see yourself and then also bring in people around you that are going to support I, that vision i bring in people every yeah. day like i said i you're not getting out of here until you talk to me yeah <laughs> that's kind of the deal but it's a beautiful that's a, i think it's a, such a beautiful trait because yeah. you recognize how Thank important you. what an accessory that is and yeah. what, a, what a what a necessity that is yeah. too, to be to be successful and i think one of the things yeah. that <clears throat> sadly so many people struggle with and we all have control over is being successful with the attitude yeah. you choose yeah i've shared with everyone out there before my uh i i'm struggling with body image issues a little bit of inspiration real quick i'm going to try to cut to the chase there is a beautiful beautiful runway model who is a large size she's a brunette i don't know her name and she models everything from lingerie to evening dress now i asked for an old cowboy you're you're identifying with a, a runway model a a runway model but b she models large women's size and i know that i know through education i just know through being an educated man that uh young girls and boys at the teenage years struggle with body image and I love what this model this gal said and she goes I'm beautiful I'm sexy I know I'm a big woman but you know I really don't give a damn what other people think I look good she puts on her makeup she puts on beautiful clothes and you're only as pretty as you feel Grace Slick you know go back if anybody doesn't know who Jefferson Starship or Jefferson Airplane Grace Slick you're only as beautiful as you feel so if you're getting into dumps Go buy some new shoes, go buy a new shirt, some new cologne, and and become beautiful in your own mind again. So that's that's, that's awesome. the huge that's the that's the big one. That's so. awesome, Johnny. Yeah. Good stuff, Good. man. Thank you. All right, thank you. you bet. Yeah, see ya. See ya.